In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create audio spectrum in Premiere Pro and After Effects. To begin, you want to export the audio separate from the video. Come over to export over here and give this audio a name and choose your location. I'm going to leave it at downloads. Change the format from H.264 from video to MP3 and hit export. And as you can see, we've successfully exported the MP3. Don't worry, we'll come back to that MP3. Come over to this new item over here and select adjustment layer and hit OK and drag your adjustment layer above and set the duration of the adjustment layer to match the duration of your video. Now right click your adjustment layer and select replace with After Effects composition and automatically Adobe After Effects will be launched. Give it a file name and a file path. I'm just going to hit save. Now in After Effects you need to import your audio so I'm going to hit Ctrl I to import and select my audio file over here and hit import. And drag my audio file into my composition over here. Now we can select this adjustment layer and delete it and create a new solid. So come over to layer, select new and select solid and hit OK. The color doesn't really matter, you can leave it at any color. Now select your solid over here and come over to effects and presets. Search for audio spectrum and apply this audio spectrum onto your solid layer over here. Next come over to your effects control and under your audio layer over here. Select the audio layer that you want the audio spectrum to be reactive to. Select the audio mp3 over here. If I scroll my playhead pass here, you can see that the audio spectrum is already responding to my mp3 file over here. So the next thing you need to do is to change your start frequency. I'm going to set my start frequency to 1000 and change my end frequency to 8500 and change my frequency bounds to 128 and change my audio duration to 100 and change my maximum height to 5000 and change my thickness to 3 and I'm going to change the inside color and the outside color to white but you can leave it at whatever color you prefer and if I scroll my playhead now you will notice that the audio spectrum is reactive to my audio over here you can also change your display options over here from digital to analog lines so if I scroll through the timeline you can see what it looks like now you can also change it from audio lines to analog dots and you can see what it looks like right now under the side options you can also make it display only upwards or downward by choosing side a and this will make it display only upwards as you can see over here and if you choose side b this will make it only display downwards as you can see over here i'm going to take it back to side a and b the next thing you want to do is to move back to Premiere Pro and inside Premiere Pro if you scroll past you are going to see your audio spectrum over here. Next thing you want to do is to come over to effects control and drag the y value of your audio spectrum to any position you prefer and next I'm going to go back to effects control and search for the drop shadow effect and apply this drop shadow effect onto my audio spectrum and I'll give it any color to make it more visible you can leave it at black but I would love to give it light green. And hit OK. And now if I scroll past, you can see my audio spectrum. And if I hit play now, you can see what we have created over here. And that's it guys on how to create reactive audio spectrum in Premiere Pro using After Effects. Thank you for watching and see you guys in my next tutorial tomorrow.